Okay, Christina De Rosa, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, what did I want to be when I grew up? Everything from fireman to dancer. Um, I used to, <laughs> I used to stand in front of my parents' um, stove and oven and whatever had a reflection. And I would put on a show, literally there, like in the kitchen because I wanted the attention right. and I wanted people to see me. So it was better than going in my room and not having right, anything right. watching. So I would literally stand in front of like a stove right. and uh, anything with a reflection and just do a little show, do a little dance. Then I would invite over all my girlfriends and we'd all dress up in mommy's clothes and put on makeup and I loved makeup even at an early age. And uh, so I think I always had the performance aspect in me and I always had a little bit of like the exhibitionist in me. I would go to church, you know, as a little kid, not really, you know, knowing what anything's about, God, whoever, whatever, um, <laughs> and just flash everyone with my little underpants and flash everyone, show them my butt. So I think I was a born exhibitionist without even knowing what, what that meant. Um, so I think I was always an attention grabber, and I think I always knew I wanted something like that. But then I had different stages. I mean, early when I was a kid, um, I had a speech impediment. Really? I did, yeah. I had a little speech impediment. I couldn't pronounce my R's. Oh yeah. So uh, of course, my mean four and a half, old, four and a half years older sister, would make me stand in the middle of the street and scream the word truck, but out would come <laughs> the F curse. And uh, my very proper ma mom would come out running in the streets, getting calls from all the neighbors. You know that her little three, four-year-old daughter is screaming. You know, profanity. And uh, my sister Elena would just keep saying, louder, Christina, louder, louder. But she had a lisp at the time. I mean, now you would never guess it. But uh, it's so funny. Now she had a lisp and she'd go, Festina, Festina, louder, louder, Festina, louder. And I would just keep like, you know, it was exciting because I was getting attention. Right, I was right. getting love from this. So, right. okay, yeah, truck, truck. And right. not really saying truck. How so, old were you when you were doing this? Oh, I was like, I mean, this, this went on for like, you know, three, four years. This was a while before. <laughs> This went on for, you know, three years old, four years old. This went on. My sister Elena would just constantly love to pull these little tricks right. on me. It was like her and her girlfriends would gang up on me and try to do it. And I didn't really know. I mean, it was it was innocent. It, for me, it was just fun, and it was playing right. with the big kids. So it was kind of exciting at the same time. Uh, but, yeah, eventually my mom caught on, and, you know, Elena would get punished, and I would get a very nice, very nice lecture and a very nice... Um, speech lesson so obviously my mom did a good job <laughs> when did you cure that speech impediment oh I think it was just something as a kid that you know it was, went away. With, yeah it went away and with with you know my mom's help and everything truck is now very easily pronounced so where did you grow up I grew up in New York oh this was uh, this was in the suburban streets of Long Island that this took place right. but I've also lived Upper West Side and Upper East Side but right. mostly um Mostly my, my schooling was all Long Island, Long Island, New York. Yeah. Right. And where are you in the birth order? I'm sorry? Where are you in the birth order? You're the middle child? Oh, I'm the youngest. Youngest of three? Of two. Of two. Just okay. me and my sister. Just okay. two of us. Yeah, just two girls. Okay. So my, my father never got the boy. <laughs> right. And uh, since what age did you start performing these shows? Oh, my little, my little adorable shows? Yeah. yeah. When did I stop is the question. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know if I'll ever stop. <laughs> Hello? Yes, you can bring her up. Thank you. I'll leave her up here. When did I, when did I stop was the question. When did you start? Oh my like goodness. Like age five, age eight? Oh, I mean, I mean, that's, that's a question that uh, I can't really answer because uh, I guess your parents didn't tell you that you started putting no, I mean, I mean, at age five? Or I can, I guess I'm always performing. I'm always, yeah. you know, dancing. In, I mean, still, even even in this beautiful condo, I'm dancing in front of those mirrors. I now have right. mirrors. I don't need to do it in front of, you know, ovens and stoves and reflections. Um, I, I mean, I'm constantly just performing and dancing around the house and whatever way, shape, and form I can. <laughs> and where were you in the... Like the social pecking order in elementary school. The social pecking order? Pecking, pecking order. Sorry, my accent. Uh, like what group were you in? What like, group was I in? Were you the artsy, I don't know, what were you in? Uh, you know, I guess it depended um, on what specific age range you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was always really small for the grade. Right. I was uh, I was born on the on the I'm born in December, so I'm born on that that break off section where uh, the cusp, so to speak, where my mom could have pushed me and made me the youngest in the older grade mm-hmm. or the oldest in the younger of the grades. Right. So she chose to make me the oldest in the younger of the grade because right. she, she knew that I was always going to be petite and small. So uh, is that Scarlett? Yes, your friend. Hi. Hi. I just Hi. want to sneak in. Yeah, yeah, this is my friend Scarlett. This is Luke. Hi, how are you? 